Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, we're already checking back in on Mr. Brian Hindman. Hindman? What is going on here? And you're saying, Rattle, don't you expect this from the Facebook groups, from the Razzle Dazzle McSwazzles? And of course I do. But it's good to show people, just in case there's people that are wondering, just in case there's people that are getting into the hobby that decide, hey, maybe I should go gamble in a Facebook group. Here's here's some here's some information for you that should hopefully make you think twice about it because it's it's a bad time. If you think whatnot is a bad time, unregulated Facebook groups with swindled babies to the extreme. I'm not saying Brian's a swindle baby, but he might be because this is the second time. That we're in on this. I mean, in essence, all of it is it's illegal gambling, which is ridiculous to me that it goes on as much as it does. Instead of calling stuff raffles or lotteries, which is what they are, because there's a prize involved and there's an entry fee, we're gonna call it a razzle or a waffle or a any any variation of that raz, whatever you want to call it. It's an, it's a bad idea. So not only is it a bad value, but it's also a bad idea. Because it's just, it's, it's, it's just, I don't know how many examples I've seen and I try not to look at it, but it's just, it's always there. It's always there being sketchy. We have this video here from a couple months ago where our, our boy, Brian, the creator of this Pokemon group that we're going to take a look at, uh, he, he, he was opening packs for people. He was raffling packs. He was, he hosted a lottery for packs an illegal lottery for packs. Again, this is all my opinion. Keep in mind, everything is my opinion on the channel. Here's the disclaimer for fun. If you want to pause it, feel free to pause it. It's it's bad news. Stay away from it. It's bad value, first of all, but it's also bad news. Because if, if somebody's willing to break the law and host lotteries that they're not supposed to be, now I'm I'm not I'm not an expert in terms of how how much worse it is if there's international participants, if there's people from all different states, there's a lot going on there. Just know that you're clearly not supposed to do it. Even the people that are doing it know they're not supposed to do it because they're trying to change the name of it so it doesn't get automatically detected by Facebook. It doesn't matter if it's on here. It doesn't matter if it's on Instagram. Just stay away from it. It's a bad idea. Now, what's really a bad idea is purchasing into a break where the person that is opening the cards doesn't realize that the set symbols should not change on the bottom of the cards. Not to mention the fact that the ho -oh that he's holding up here that came out of a pack the hollow, the hollow hit is not actually a card that you can pull from a pack. So was Brian playing dumb or was Brian scamming? Did he get scammed and he's too dumb to know that, hey, these cards are not supposed to be in here. You would think that if you're opening packs of that value, you would know the difference. Again, you, you guys make up your decision. I, I find it hard to believe that you can be opening this stuff and and voila, something pops out that's definitely not supposed to be in there. But who knows? Maybe he's just really fucking dumb. Now, the poker rep break. You guys probably heard or seen the, you, you, you probably heard, you got wind of the $200,000 Pokemon first edition break that Rev did yesterday. And where do you think this is going? I mean, it, it's probably, I probably spoiled it in the thumbnail and or title. But yes, where there is gambling, the, my God, is, is any, any, absolutely any way to make money on Razzle Dazzle McSwazzling on gambling, it's going to happen. You've seen how much mystery crap has popped up in the, in the, I mean, there's very little breaks. So it's, uh, it's crazy. Rev's still doing breaks. There are still breaks going on, but the amount of breaks has just absolutely fallen off because it is insanely hard to make money that way. What isn't hard is gambling. Sell people gambling. Why, why would you sell people actual things when you can sell the gambling for more money? I mean, we've, it's the same thing that we've seen on Whatnot and these other platforms, carnival games. If, if, if you can't sell them Pokemon packs, if you can't go to Walmart, fill your fucking cart and bring them home, slap on your cell phone with your fucking terrible loose gilla style audio quality, then what are you even doing now? <laughs> What have, we, what have we got here? We got the, the box break. Let's get into what's going on with the box break and how these bad boys are going to take advantage of it. So uh, not only is the Facebook group called Pokemon Center, which I would think is that's it's playing with fire in terms of, uh, the, you know, the Pokemon company and uh, their naming. I, I get it. If you want to call it like Squirtle Squirt Squad, Squirt Squirtle, Squirtle Squirties or something like that. Like, OK, they're probably not going to do anything about it. But when you're... Pokemon Center is a little, 
It's a little egregious. Um, not saying that they will, but they may or may not. We have a Nick Nicolaos. I thought it was going to be Nicholas. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Giannopoulos here, who has a first edition box break spot in PokerRev's first edition base break. So we saw recently <laughs> we had the mystery boxes, the Poker Power boxes that were basically using Rev's image. Now we have the illegal gambling squad that are gonna, <laughs> that are going to they're going to they're going to they're going to sell a lottery on one of these packs. Random live top spot that gets one first edition shadowless base set booster pack ripped live from Poker Rev's break. The pack will be ripped live regardless of weight on Poke Rev's YouTube channel this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. I will stream Poker Rev's live to Pokemon Center so we can all watch and cheer on the lucky member. Now, this kind of depends on whether or not Rev gives a shit, um, but uh, just straight up restreaming someone's content uh, so other people can watch it. That's, prob that's probably a no-no. Um, but again, it's more people watching him. Does he really care? I don't know. Do you know? Uh, but again, they're probably not making anything off of like ad revenue for this, but they're definitely making money off of this break. Free in the US, free, free tugboat, free Titanic in the US. Send as you claim, big built in mini at the bottom. Oh my god, the fucking mini Razzle Dazzles and mini Max, mini big boys, mini, mini Maxers. <laughs> god damn it. Please, don't, if you, if you know anyone that's getting into Pokemon, please tell them to stay the fuck away from this shit. Like, not only is it bad value, as we see here, 75 entries at $100 each. Sick. That's fucking awesome, right? No, it's not awesome. It's terrible value. And even if you're not getting ripped off, if these people are playing by the rules, if they're doing it in an official way, it's terrible value. Because if you win the amount that you're supposed to win, these packs are not $7,500 from rep. They're not, they're not $6,500 either. If you break the box apart, don't take into consideration the box itself and anything like that. We have rev probably making $1,000 per pack. Without all the the YouTube stuff, and then you have, an you have Razzle Dazzlers here, Nicolaos making another thousand dollars. So it's not good value. I get it. It's a, it's not advertised as that. It's pretty straight up. If you can do the math, I have a feeling that the the people that are buying into this stuff, I maybe don't understand that. And there's a whole lot that goes into it in terms of. Regulation. Regulation. I, I mean, there's clearly the incentive for the government to regulate things like this because they want to be the ones making money on it. But also it's just in uh, like it, you can't just have random Joe Schmo making Facebook groups hosting lotteries and trust that they're going to do the right thing, that everything is by the book because we've seen it time and time again where it isn't. So it's kind of a, a damned if you do, damned if you don't. I, I just, why the hell do you even participate or want to be involved in anything like this? I don't know. All right, so we have the pokecave.com. We got the open lab box opening 310 2024. We got 6,500 bucks. And yes, if we take the, the $200,000 price tag, I don't know what Reb paid for the box. No idea. Don't, it doesn't really matter. That's kind of what it's been selling for. That's kind of the, the market value. And his thumbnail indicates such. I think the last one that sold. I don't know if it was on Heritage. One of the auction platforms was 200000 uh, like on the dot. So pretty accurate. Uh, that gets us a uh, rate over $5,500 per pack. So probably a, a pretty much a $1,000 premium on there. I mean, if you're buying one of these, you, you're not really expecting to make your money back anyway. I mean, you can get a non-hollow and get absolutely shafted. You can get a hollow and still not make your money back. It's, it's, it is what it is. It's for entertainment value. You got to leave it at that. At least with the box break, you're not getting into a sketchy, sketchy territory. You're buying a pack. You buy the pack. The contents of the pack. You don't have to. You don't have to trust Johnny Jimbo on Facebook to to do it properly. Um, everything seemed very above board with that. So just in case anyone's wondering, you can Google if you're wondering. Hey, am I doing something that's against the law? Voila, Google is there for you. You can type in, "Are you allowed to run a lottery in the United States?" That's the technical term for it. It's not even actually a raffle. Uh, it's a lottery. You're paying to enter something and uh, having a chance at a prize or cash prize. In many countries, including the United States, personal lotteries are prohibited. Only the government, not individuals or private companies 
are legal, legally allowed to run lotteries. I don't, this should be pretty standard information. I don't know if there's certain state laws that also get breached, and then depending on where the entrants are, depending on where the person that is hosting this lottery, regardless, it's yeah, you can't. You just can't do it. That's why they try to dodge it, dip, dive, dodge, and, and duck it. We got the live break here, sweet nasty. We got some comments here. Sean here says, LOL, literally just got banned from a Pokemon Center group for saying PokeRest pack pulls on YouTube were way overpriced. I mean, I'm, they're $1,000 over market, so take that as you will. Um, also, mostly paying for the fact that he's going to open it for you, uh, which is, it's a, it's an interesting thing. I, I get I get where people are coming from there. Dude was waffling a spot on first edition pack pulled live by PokeRamp for $7,500. So yeah, they're trying to make a quick $7,500. They're trying to make a quick thousand bonerinis uh, and, uh, by, by selling one of those entries. I don't know if it sold. I don't know if they actually received it. I don't know. I don't even know if there's any specific way that Ramp could prevent this from happening. Like, I mean, short of like knowing that it was going on. And canceling whatever purchase, but again, like somebody could sneak it under a different name or something, still razzle dazzle it off. I, I don't know. It's it it also seems like it's piggybacking kind of like the the poker power boxes and trying to use like Rev's name or make it associated with Rev while trying to like kind of oh, but we're just big fans and we just want to watch it together and cheer on the winner of our no, you want to make a thousand dollars on illegal gambling. That's what it comes down to. So there's no sugar coating it. That's uh, it's dumb. And again, it, it's it's a dumb purchase to buy in on that a financial purchase to buy in on that. Even if you're taking into consideration that, I mean, it, it's not as egregious as some of them. Sometimes people are charging like double, double what the item is worth. Like the the value on that is like just so disgustingly bad. But then also. There's a, there's a huge chance that you're gonna that they're gonna scam you. I mean, this is a group that we already saw where very questionable pack openings, where reverses were not the, the stuff was not in the right place. Now, whether or not they repacked the packs or they got them repacked, and whether or not they knew it was repacked and pretended it wasn't, I I, I have a really hard time believing that anyone can be in Pokemon. Although I, I if any amount of people watched that thing opened. And doesn't and don't understand like hey this the ho oh doesn't make sense hey those reverses or those cards that are in the pack are not even from the same set like the set symbol should be just a dead giveaway but who knows is it a combination of dumb people doing dumb things doing illegal things probably Mike here says haha I saw that too I was wondering what the hell he was smoking for that price so um. Yeah, I mean, two thousand dollars over, over what it should be. Yusef says they banned me because I commented on the post a few months back regarding the resealed Expedition and Aquapolis packs. Oh yes. Oh wait. Yeah. So I mean, there was also apparently Expedition and Aquapolis. Who knows? There's probably just countless examples of where this stuff was like resealed. Did they get it resealed? Did somebody else reseal it? Who knows? The 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 point is stay the hell away from it. Like if the person, even if, let's say that Brian is, he's just, he's being honest as hell. He's doing everything he can. He doesn't realize it because he's just, he's dumb, but he's opening these expensive packs for people. He's just dumb and ir irresponsible. Why are you buying from someone that can't tell that the cards are not supposed to be in that pack? I, I have my doubts because I, it's, it should be very obvious. And... Playing dumb, you can you can only play dumb so many times. My entire comment literally stated as someone who is neutral in the entire situation, I will admit it does seem a bit concerning that the person opening the packs continued to open even though it was clear as day the packs were resealed. As someone who opens hundreds of vintage packs, I'd expect they know better. There were some of the um, the hollows and stuff like that too, or some of the wear on the cards that indicated that they weren't actually from the pack. And again, it's it was was the intention there? We can't say for sure. Was the intention there originally to scam? Was the intention there to scam after they he got out like, oh shit, I got the wrong stuff in here. Hopefully no one notices. So then I'm not out any money. That group is literally a dictatorship. So be careful with that too. If it's not something that's open to the public, if they're like if they're trying to hide it, 
if they're trying to silence anyone that's saying stuff, yes, if you're if you're if you're just absolutely going wild and saying, hey, what the hell? Suck a wiener to the extreme, Brian, you pussy wussy. If you're saying stuff like that and you get banned, like, okay, it's probably going to happen. But if you're saying, if you're just stating your concerns in a calm and, you know, reasonable manner and you're getting kicked from this stuff, it's a bad look. I'm not saying any of these people did one or the other, but... We have Adino here says, for clarity, it appears they are flipping Poker Rev Spot for $1,000 more. $1,000 more than he has them available for. If you have friends or family in that group, would advise them against it. Yeah, I mean, for the amount of time and effort that it would take to uh, to, to take the payments for that stuff, a $1,000 payday is pretty pretty juicy, I guess. I, I don't know what they're going to raffle off next. I have no clue. Uh, I did send this uh, the, along to, to Rev himself. I was like, what are, what are they? The, it just never fails to amaze me. Like this, the Facebook stuff, uh, the, the whatnot stuff, like to all of it. It's just like, what are they? Any, any little weaselly thing to, to make an extra buck uh, with as little work as possible or as little, as little investment as possible is, it's just gonna, it's gonna happen. It's, it's wild to me that it just, it keeps happening. It keeps getting more and more crazy. I, I it blows my mind that based on what has come out of this group already, although again, probably if people are still in there and they're still seeing this stuff, they probably haven't watched my video or they probably don't know or realize about the the weird repacks that have been going on. And it's several examples. It's not like just like one time where it's like, oh, oopsie doopsie, didn't realize the ho oh shouldn't have a foil like that, like that kind of thing. Blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. Chester says, I was going to say the same thing. That's a 13% fee just to run a game for a pack that ain't even yours. Yeah. So, and then the free shipping thing is kind of funny because, I mean, that's the rev is going to be shipping it. So, of course, it's free shipping unless they're shipping it to themselves and then shipping it. Be careful with that, too. Be careful people swapping cards or anything like that. I don't know if they actually planned on shipping it directly. Although, I don't know. You might have to provide that shipping info when you purchase the pack. Not necessarily afterwards, or I don't know if he even allows you to change the address or what their intention is with that. Regardless, the shipping cost is going to be basically negligible. It's only the, the the cards within the pack, so it shouldn't be a very big package. And if it's shipping within the U.S., it's going to be going to be dirt cheap. Very jealous of the uh, the American cheap shipping. They got they got some you got a good over there, you know. Exploitation at its finest. I'm sure Poker Rev would not approve. Well, clearly not. He's, or he would do it himself. Devin says, maybe you should message him about it. LOL. And Jared says, what a j joke. Yeah, it is a, the whole thing is a joke. It's insane. I don't know. I don't know what's next. I think they're going to raffle. They're going to raffle the raffles or something next. Like, And I don't mean like the mini raffle that you have to win. The mini raffle to get into the mega raffle or the main raffle. I'm talking like they're going to raffle the raffle itself. So like the, the winner would get the $1,000 that the raffle is making from another raffle that's got some kind of entry. They, that they're going to make $2,000 off of it. It's it, it's never ending. It's uh, it's ridiculous. I, I hope most people know better and stay away from this stuff. Uh, but I still think it's pretty interesting to look from the outside as as someone that is nowhere anywhere near this stuff who never really was from the get-go. And I'm sure a lot of you that are watching the channel also know to stay away from this stuff. But surely, surely it's interesting. It's interesting in the least. It's ridiculous, but it's interesting. I, I'll, I'll give it that much. Stay away. The warn others. Friends don't let friends razzle dazzle. See you next time. Join the Discord. Bye.